South Korea has recorded the highest coronavirus tally as of today ever since the pandemic started in the country. Authorities did warn a post Chuseok holiday surge, but the jump is much higher and faster than anticipated. Our Chen Min Jung reports. South Korea's daily COVID-19 tally is breaking record after record. On Saturday, the country reported an all-time high of 3,273 new cases, surpassing the 3,000 mark for the first time. The new record comes only a day after the country reported the highest single-day tally on Friday with more than 2,400 cases. The uptick comes after millions traveled around the nation during the five-day Chuseok holiday. Health authorities are concerned that the spike concentrated in the capital area will eventually spread nationwide, just like it did after the summer vacation period. They are also bracing for infections to further increase next week as well. Observers say the post Chuseok surge will likely delay the government's plans to return to normal life starting from the end of October. That's when the government predicts more than 70 percent of the population to have been fully vaccinated. On a positive note, the country's vaccination rate has sped up since the end of the long holiday. From Monday to Wednesday, during Chuseok, less than 50,000 people a day received shots. But on Thursday, a whopping 930,000 people got vaccinated. However, the vaccination rate is slowing down among those who have yet to get a jab due to refusals and personal reasons. Over the past week, less than 3 percent of those eligible reserved shots. Meanwhile, adolescents aged 12 to 17 are set to get vaccinated in the fourth quarter of this year. The authorities stressed that inoculations would not be forced upon people by schools and individuals would have the right to make their own decisions. Around 2.7 million teenagers are eligible for the shots and will be receiving Pfizer's vaccine. The authorities will announce specific vaccination plans for this age bracket on Monday. Chemin Dong, Arirang News.